Her whole system is flooded with it. I I've never seen anything like it before. It's created a chemically induced state of permanent amnesia. She can't remember who she is, where she came from, nothing before she crawled out of that bag in Times Square. Anyway, hello everyone, and welcome back to another review episode. In this episode, I'm going to be reviewing Blind Spot. Before we delve into today's review, a warm welcome to all the new viewers. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this review a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, and after you've watched this video, check out my other reviews on the link below. And of course, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And now, let's get started with the review. When a woman with no memory of her past is discovered in the heart of Times Square, emerging from a bag adorned with conspicuous tattoos, the FBI springs into action to decode the meanings behind these mysterious symbols and to unravel her true identity. Among the mere tattoos adorning a body is the name of a particular agent, Kurt Weller. Jane, as she comes to be known, embracing the term Jane Doe, collaborates with Agent Weller and his team to embark on a quest to unlock the mysteries surrounding her existence. As Jane and the team forges a deeper connection, she finds herself drawn to the man whose name is permanently etched into her skin, leading to a blossoming romance amidst the chaos of their investigation. However, each tattoo, they decide to post them further into the dark underbellies of criminal activities, from illegal operation to pervasive corruption where former allies may prove themselves to be adversaries. As the team races to uncover the truth behind the intricate web of tattoos, they must confront betrayals from unexpected quarters, forcing them to reassess their trust in those they once seemed reliable. With the ultimate goal of exposing in the mastermind orchestrating these nefarious schemes, Jane's journey of self-discovery intertwines with the team's relentless pursuit of justice. Yet as Jane confronts fragments of her past and embraces the opportunity for a fresh start, sinister forces from her history surfaces, pinning the team against new adversaries, while grappling with the insidious nature of power and its ability to corrupt even those with honest intentions. Here are my orders for the top seasons. Number 5, Season 5, the final season of Blindspot presents the team with the greatest challenge yet as they grapple with the aftermath of a devastating drone strike and find themselves branded as wanted fugitives. Once trusted by their own government, they are now forced to operate in the shadows as they attempt to find justice. As the stakes escalate, viewers witnesses the team's journey come full circle, particularly for Jane, who was once a member of a terrorist organization aiming to topple a corrupt government. Now ironically labeled as terrorists themselves, the cause is just, as they strive to restore their reputation and seek justice. Throughout the season, the narrative delicately explores the team's struggle to maintain their moral compass while navigating the complexities of being fugitives. Working with those they have came across over the course of the series, some good, while others can be considered foes, they help the team in their quest to expose and dismantle the corrupt forces that have plagued them since the fourth season. As viewers accompany the team on their final journey, they witness a bittersweet conclusion to their time at the FBI. Despite the tragic outcome for some characters, they embark on their own path, marking the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. Now before season 3, the third season of Blindspot brings a fresh start for the team, taking it on a global adventure and blending old and new dynamics seamlessly. Reuniting after two years apart, following their battle against Sandstorm, the team embarks in a quest to decipher Jane's new tattoos, each leading them closer to their new target, Hank Crawford. As they decode these new tattoos, teens of penance emerges, forcing the team to confront the secrets and lies they have fastered during their separation. This exploration of hidden truth becomes pivotal in unraveling how each character has evolved since the previous season, often screening their relationship in unexpected ways. While facing the threat of Hank Crawford, whose far-reaching influences extends globally through ruthless business dealings, the season cleverly intertwines its story with Jane's past, revealing significant moments from her origin. With each puzzle solved, alliances are tested and friendships are strained, culminating in a devastating revelation. Jane is suffering from zip poisoning, leading to her alter ego Remy to take control of her body. This gripping narrative arc leads the audience eagerly anticipating how the team will navigate the challenges of saving Jane while contending with the repercussions of Remy's return. Number 3, Season 1. The first season of Blindspot embarks on a challenging journey for the FBI agents tasked with unveiling a case that expands their understanding of crime. As they delve deeper, they find themselves drawn into investigations involving high-value targets, uncovering a weather corruption within the very system they've sworn to uphold. The odyssey commences with a woman devoid of memories, her mind clouded by a potent amnesiac drug. Adorned with mysterious tattoos, she becomes the linchpin in deciphering numerous cases. Yet the mysteries surrounding identity and the significance of these tattoos cast a shadow over their every move. With each revelation, the season paints a grim portrait of institutional corruption, exposing the passive influence of malevolent forces within the governmental agencies. As the agents grapple with decoding the tattoos and uncovering Jane Doe's true identity, they are confronted with unsettling truths that shatters their trust in one another. Manipulated by this unseen hand, they are forced to confront the blurred lines between loyalty and betrayal as uncomfortable realities comes to light. The season serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the precarious consequences of unchecked power and the erosion of trust. Amidst the darkness, Jane lists the shocking truth about her past, that she willingly submitted to the tattooing process and erasure of her memories. As the shadow figure behind her plight are amassed, 
Jane is compelled to confront her own moral compass, torn between the person she once was and the one she has become. Number 2, Season 4. The fourth season of Blindspot delves deep into character exploration as each face personal trials, preparing them for the ultimate challenge ahead. Throughout the season, they confront various threats, from the dangerous side effect of a drug zip to the looming presence of Madeline Burke, the new CEO of HCI Global. Juggling multiple major threats simultaneously highlights the stakes and consequences faced by our characters. Jane grapples with the devastating effect of zip poisoning as Remy takes control of her body. This journey leads her to discover the unsettling similarities with her alter ego, Remy. Her path to closure involves accepting responsibility for Remy's past actions. Meanwhile, the Paris arc rolls down the lessons learned from a low wolf mentality during a time undercover in Madeline Burke's organization. She discovers that this approach puts her loved ones in jeopardy, highlighting the importance of teamwork and trust. As the team rallies to support Jane and Sparta through their respective struggles, they face a staggering betrayal when Madeline seizes control of the FBI, framing them for her crimes. Branded as fugitives, they find themselves powerless against their influence, with their fate hanging in the balance. This season underscores the harsh realities that not all battles can be won, and even heroes can be portrayed as villains under the right circumstances. Thus, it's a comparing narrative that keeps fears on the edge, questioning the very nature of justice and heroism. Number 1, Season 2. The second season of Blindspot takes viewers on a profound journey centered around the concept of family, grappling with the age-old question of where one truly belongs. As the characters delves deeper into the complexity of their identities, they're confronted with the stark realization that family isn't always defined by blood ties, but also by the bond forth through friendship and shared experiences. Building upon the revelation of the first season, where the team learns that even the noblest intentions can lead to unintended consequences, the stakes are raised as they uncover the sinister machination of a shadowy figure who has been pulling the strings from the shadows since the beginning. This terrifying puppeteer, driven by a fervent desire to dismantle a corrupt system, stops at nothing to achieve their goals, regardless of the collateral damage in their wake. With each tattoo and clue unraveling a web of deceit and manipulation, the team find themselves constantly playing catch-up to an adversary who always seems to be one step ahead. The extent of this organization's infiltration into the highest echelons of power becomes painfully clear, leaving our heroes reeling from betrayal and loss. Jane in particular finds herself torn between her allegiance to the team and her ties to her true family a revelation that shakes her to the core. Discovering a pivotal role within the organization alongside her brother Roman and their adopted mother Shepard forces Jane to confront the harsh realities of her past and the choices that lies ahead. As tensions rise and loyalties are tested, the line between friend and foe becomes increasingly blurred. Ultimately, the team is confronted the difficult truth that sometimes the hardest battles are not fought against external threats, but the internal struggles of the heart. In a world where trust is a rare commodity, they must navigate the treacherous water of deception and betrayal, all while facing the looming specter of an impending doom. Here are my picks for the top 10 episodes and honorable mentions. Number 10, Erase Weary Youth, Season 1, Episode 13. When credible information surfaces regarding a Russian mole within the FBI New York office, tension mounts as trust among everyone within the building begins to erode. The insidious influence of lies and deceit permeates every corner, highlighting the profound impact such forces can wield even amongst trusted individuals. Amidst this growing unease, Agent Fisher seizes control of the narrative. Subjugating everyone to intense interrogation and further stoking the flame and suspicions in an already unstable environment. With each passing moment, V is a reminder of the somber reality. Jane, despite having earned the trust of her team, remains an outsider, making her vulnerable to manipulation. This pivotal moment marks a turning point for Jane, who, despite her loyalties to the FBI's efforts to uncover her past, finds herself marginalized in the face of a looming threat posed by the mole. Despite Willis' unwavering confidence in her innocence, the pervasive influence of lies and deceit blinds others to alternative perspectives, leaving viewers to confront the harsh truths that newcomers are often cast aside amidst uncertainty and suspicion. Although Jane is ultimately clear of any involvement in the mole's activities, the betrayal she experiences serves as a catalyst for growing disillusionment within the FBI and its supported allies. As viewers watch her navigate this treacherous terrain, they are left to ponder the uncertain trajectory of a journey and the looming question of where her allegiance truly lies. Number 9, Inui, Season 5, Episode 11. Jane embarks on a final journey of self-acceptance after facing another dosage of Zip. Despite surviving with her memory intact thanks to a potential cure, she grapples with the severe side effects, hallucinating faces from her past. The episode cleverly reintroduces characters who shaped the journey from sandstorm associates, former foes, to her own friends. With familiar faces returning, viewers are treated to a point of reflection on the series' narrative arc from beloved characters like Reed, Nas, and Roman to pivotal antagonists being among them. Through her hallucinations, Jane uncovered a forgotten memory crucial to thwarting an impending attack. Returning to Times Square where it all began, Jane's condition deteriorates, offering viewers a choice in the series' outcome. In one ending, the team succeeds in stopping the threat, and Jane lives to start anew, with the team doing the same. 
In the alternate, tragedy strikes as Jane succumbs to her conditions, leaving behind a bittersweet conclusion. These two endings offer viewers closure, whether seeking a happy resolution or grappling with the reality of loss. Number 8, Authentic Flirt, Season 1, Episode 9. Unlocking yet another one of Jane's tattoos, the episode serves as a pivotal midpoint within the first season, introducing key characters and advancing the overarching narrative. As the investigation progresses, the urgency escalates when Jane and her team uncover the time-sensitive lead decoding from a tattoo, only to learn that the witness protection database has been compromised by hackers. Amidst the chaos, Beers introduced to Allison Knight, a figure from Kurt's past who now works for the US Marshal, hinting at a deeper storyline to come. Following Allison's intel on the data breach, Jane and Weller go undercover as assassins, only to find themselves isolated at the mercy of the hacker's compound. Trapped and forced to rely on each other, Jane and Weller face it off against Rich.com, a notorious hacker entrenched in the criminal underworld. Their mission becomes a high-stake game of trust and improvisation, as they navigate through dangerous adversaries to recover the WITSEC data and arrest Rich in the process. As the episode unfolds, the stakes intensify with each death, underscoring the perilous consequences of Jane's tattoos. From Sarvera of being silenced to Patterson's boyfriend's fatal curiosity, the casualty highlights the intricate and deadly nature of the tattoo mystery, leading viewers to anticipate the potential for an impending crisis. Number 7, The One Where Jane Visits an Old Friend, Season 4, Episode 16. As Jane grapples with the resurgence of her memory from her alter ego Remy, she is forced to confront the trauma of Remy's past actions, and viewers are challenged to reconsider the effect of the memory wipe drug Zip, which was always believed to offer a fresh start for her. Seeking guidance, Jane turns to Borden, whose unique insight as a former associate of both Jane and Remy proves invaluable. Despite initial resistance, Borden helps Jane recognize the symptoms she's been experiencing, offering a perspective no other therapist could provide. Through Borden's guidance, Jane comes to terms with the duality of her identity. Acknowledging while Jane and Remy may be different personas, they share a core commitment to justice. With this newfound clarity, Jane embraces her past and starts to resolve the right and wrongs committed by Remy. This journey towards self-acceptance brings closure and empowerment to Jane, allowing her to move forward with a newfound purpose. Meanwhile, the team faces escalating threat from Madeline Burke, as the abuse witnesses how far she's willing to go, even if it costs her loyal associates. Her actions in silencing potential adversaries causes major fracture for the team trying to understand their opponent. Despite Madeline finally getting arrested, tension mounts as Jane is abducted, leaving the team in a precarious position. The episode culminates in a gripping cliffhanger, setting the stage for a further twist and turns in the ongoing battle against Madeline's machinations. Number 6, See Now Lion, Season 2, Episode 18. The repercussions of the past comes back to haunt the team as Matthew White's returns, aiming to gain further reputation for himself. Once again, he attempts to sabotage the team's attempt to stop Sandstorm. The deposition against the team offers viewers a glimpse into the underbelly of governmental oversight. While these measures are necessary to prevent corruption, they can also be exploited by individuals like White who seeks to manipulate the system for personal gains. As each member of the team is questioned individually, White twists the narrative, hoping to find something credible to shut down the Sandstorm's investigation. Meanwhile, the team has juggled its challenges with a time-sensitive tattoo case. With various forces at play, Fierce witnesses Nas's ultimate sacrifice. Despite joining the team this season with optimism, Nas realizes that defeating Sandstorm may require personal sacrifices. By taking responsibility for the charges in the deposition, Nas imparts a crucial lesson. Not every battle can be won, but achieving victory in the end is what truly matters. However, ominous premonition arises as Shepard edges closure to acquire the last material needed for a plan. This leaves fears questioning whether Nas' sacrifice was worthwhile and whether the team can thwart Shepard's impending threat. Number 5, Why Like Coolers Past the Deformed, Season 2, Episode 9. The depth of Sandstorm's infiltration into governmental agencies is fully revealed, exposing the extent of the terrorist organization's reach. Jane is manipulated as a pawn as the true loyalties are discovered by Sandstorm sources within the FBI. This revelation sheds light on a mysterious connection to Dr. Borden, who has been instrumental in helping Jane cope with her trauma. Flashbacks unveils this special bond, revealing Jane's past as Borden's patient during a time as a SEAL. Once a compassionate man dedicated to helping others find joy in life, Borden was betrayed and indoctrinated by Jane into Sandstorm, becoming a fervent loyalist who even infiltrated the FBI. Armed with knowledge of Jane's true allegiance, Sandstorm launches his first strike on the FBI, underscoring the imminent threat it poses. Themes of loyalty and betrayal permeates this episode, from Jane's allegiance to her FBI colleagues to Borden's treachery. However, the most compelling exploration of loyalty lies with Roman, who is torn between loyalty to his sister and Shepard. This pivotal moment reshapes the series showcasing the profound consequences of loyalty and its far-reaching effects. As major betrayals unfold, fears are left pondering whether the forces of good can prevail against the organization that has infiltrated the highest level of government. 
Number four, check your ed. Season four, episode nine. In a frantic effort to reclaim Jane's lost personalities from the clutches of Remy, the episode delves deeper into her subconscious from a gripping battle of the mind. The team embarks on a questionable procedure, teetering on the edge of scientific ethics as Jane's subconscious fights to break free supported by the memories of loved ones and past connections. Metaphorically representing Jane's mind by the FBI's New York field office, the battleground in Jane's mind is fought with tough decisions and pivotal moments that have shaped her since Times Square. Themes of forgiveness resonate deeply as Jane confronts her past and wrestles with the guilt over the choices that have impacted her loved ones, particularly her brother Roman. Despite Remy's dominance, Jane finds solace in her positive experiences and gradually learns to forgive herself, shedding the weight of guilt that burdened her. As she regains control, the repercussions of Remy's actions comes to a head, culminating in a climactic showdown where Jane confronts Shepard, the catalyst to Remy being molded the way she is. The specter of zip poisoning casts a shadow over Jane's newfound control, leaving viewers pondering the existential ramification of her regained memories of Remy. Number 3, In Memory, Season 3, Episode 22, Roman's final puzzle, intended as penance for the team, reaches the climactic resolution by bringing viewers to the epicenter of Jane and Roman's origin, their birthplace in South Africa. Throughout the season, questions are by Hank Crawford, serving as the season's primary antagonist and its role in the overarching narrative. Crawford's deep connection to the orphanage with Jane and Roman endured military training and trauma funded by him brings the journey to full circle as Jane returns to the site where her former self Remy was shaped. Unlike the series' typical season finale, filled with major conflict, this episode serves as a midpoint, delving into the heart of the characters and their bonds. Despite being on opposite sides, the unbreakable bond forged in surviving the orphanage together remains intact. As the team uncovers Hank Crawford's secret about the orphanage, the episode takes a dramatic turn, hinting at what lies ahead. From both Hank Crawford and Roman's death to the pilot taking on a more antagonistic role in the upcoming season, to couple with the major revelation that the drug dip, which erased Remy's memory, is slowly poisoning her, creating a sense of urgency. Jane's only hope lies in uncovering Roman's hidden data cache, scattered worldwide, a race against time to save her from the lethal effect of Zip. Amidst the traumas and revelation, the episode delivers another blow that Zip poisoning altered Jane's personality once more, bringing Remy back into the fold. This unexpected twist leaves viewers pondering the significant consequences of return for the future narrative. Number 2, The Gang Gets Gone, Season 4, Episode 22. Madeline Brooks dangerous operation, codenamed Helios, plunges the world into chaos by sabotaging the electrical grid and framing the team for it. As the episode unfolds, viewers finally grasp the full extent of Madeline's scheme since the usurping control of ACI Global. We witness a meticulous planning, underscoring the harsh reality that not every battle can be won. The narrative evokes a mix of emotions as Madeline, with her cunning and ruthlessness, takes a final bow, manipulating not just events but also the narrative itself, even seizing control of the FBI and the media portrayal. Blaming her own atrocities on the team, whom the team had repeatedly thwarted in their efforts to stop her power grab, Madeline turns them into fugitives, forcing them to flee with limited resources to prove their innocence and thwart her masterful plan. This episode serves as a stark reminder that with enough influence and deception, anyone can propagate a convincing narrative even transforming erstwhile heroes into vilified terrorists. With their backs against the wall, the team is forced to go on the run and hide, only to be swiftly tracked down, leaving their fate hanging in the balance. As the episode concludes, questions linger about who survived the attack, and more importantly, who within the FBI can be trusted to dismantle Madeline's web of influence and bring her to justice. Here are my picks for the honorable mentions. In a Comment of Us, Season 1, Episode 19. In Night So Ransom Rope, Season 2, Episode 1. Borrow or Rob, Season 2, Episode 14. Mom, Season 2, Episode 21. City Folk, Under Wraps, Season 3, Episode 8. Warning Shot, Season 3, Episode 13. Deduction, Season 3, Episode 15. The Tale of the Book of Secrets, Season 4, Episode 12. Though this be madness, yet there is Methodism, Season 4, Episode 13. Brass Track, Season 5, Episode 9. Number 1, Leapers Repel, Season 2, Episode 22. The climactic showdown with Shepard and the forces commences, unveiling the conspirators' entanglement and the scheme as the team embarks on a mission to thwart her attempt to topple the current government. Amidst the impending battle, the episode delves into the themes of choice, guiding the narrative forward. With the endgame within reach, choice becomes pivotal, illuminating the path forward for the team. The concept of a new chapter resonates with everyone for the team, particularly for Jane, whose identity has been intertwined with the FBI since the series' inception. As they edge closer to thwarting Shepard's plan, the team grapples with the daunting realization that their sacrifice and harrowing revelation have brought them nearer to the ending of the threat. The ultimate confrontation embodies the culmination of the series' evolution, pitting them against a formidable adversary intent on restarting the government. Sandstorm utilizing every resource at their disposal from nuclear waste to satellite technology, the final battle fulfills the expectation of loyal viewers. 
As a cherry on top, the clash between siblings, Jane and Roman, whose complex history spans childhood to opposition sides of the conflict, serves as a symbolistic moment for Jane's character arc. As Sandstorm's assault is halted, Bruce witnesses the anticipated change unfold, signaling the closure of an intense chapter in the struggle against Sandstorm. Thank you for tuning in. I know that I have been failing to regularly upload reviews on this channel as I've been busy with personal matters, but I have also been working on a major project that will hopefully reshape my channel for the better. Until then, there'll be one more review coming up within the next month, so please subscribe if you're still not, leave a like to this video, share the video with your friends, and comment down on your thoughts about the show. And I will see you soon for another review episode.